Yes, good afternoon, students. In front of you is Madam Charity. I would like to welcome you to our next unit, to our shortened lesson, Unit 2. It's about curved strokes. Unit 2 is about curved strokes. And just as you see, we have uh, these uh, two circles here. And they are representing now the curved strokes that we are going to discuss here. We have stock of F, stock of V, a stock of E, a stock of D, stock of S, stock of Z, and stock of H, and stock of G. These are our phonetic uh, uh, sounds that we have. We have our phonetic sounds that we are given here. So when you look at the circles that we have, it shows the direction of drilling the, the curved stroke. The stroke of F and V, they share the same direction. That is the direction of drilling that. And when you look at stroke of E and G, they are all also showing the direction of drilling. That stroke of E and V, they are drilling towards the direction that is shown on the circle. And we have stroke of S and Z they are drilled using that direction so we are going to practice drilling this the curved strokes we start with the stroke of f and stroke of f is drilled with a light stroke on the line like this stroke of f stroke of f so practice drilling stroke of v is a heavy stroke stroke of v stroke of v stroke of v stroke of v and then stroke of e is drilled with a light stroke a stock of if 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 then the next one is stock of v is a heavy stroke stock of v 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 you drill as you pronounce and you increase your speed a stock of hairs is drilled with a light stroke stock of s Stroke of S, stroke of S, stroke of S, stroke of S. We have stroke of Z, stroke of Z, stroke of Z with a heavy stroke. Stroke of Z, stroke of Z. Then we have stroke of ish, which is curved uh, from the opposite direction of the stroke of F and V. A stroke of ish, stroke of ish, stroke of ish, stroke of ish. Then we have stock of G, stock of G, a heavy stock, stock of G, stock of G, stock of G. When you look at these words, they are in pairs, the pair of two, the pair of two. So stock of heaven and V, stock of heaven and V, they share the same direction with stock of V. The only difference is that stock of F is a light stock, stock of V is a heavy stock. Stock of E and V, they share the same direction. Stock of V is a light stroke, whereas stock of V is a, a heavy stroke. We have stock of S and stock of Z. A stock of S is a light stroke, whereas stock of Z is a heavy stroke. Stock of V and G, they are, are sharing the same direction, but one is light, the other one is heavy. So, I uh, pronounce the word stroke of F, stroke of V, stroke of if, stroke of D, stroke of S, stroke of Z, stroke of ish, stroke of G. That is the pronunciation for those words. And then uh, below that, we have examples of words that are given are drilled using those curved strokes we have the word feigned that death they shed shapes death and we have the word fetch. We are going to drill the word fetch here. So we are going to 
drill the word faint. Faint, pronounce it faint. Faint is drilled with a stock of F on the line and stock of D. Faint, 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 faint. A stock of F on the line and a stock of D. Then we have the word vet. Pronounce it vet. Vet is a stock of V on the line and a stock of T. Vet. 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 You pronounce as you drill this word. And it is drilled on the line because of short hair. Then we have the word death. Death. Dead is a stock of D and a stock of E. Dead. Stock of D on the line and a stock of E. Dead. 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 We are drilling it on the line because of short vowel air. A second place vowel. And then we have the word day. Pronounce it. Day is a stock of V. A stock of V on the line is drilled on the line because of a long long vowel hey a second place vowel then we have the word shed shed pronounce it stroke of ish on the line and a stroke of d shed a stroke of ish on the line and a stroke of d shed 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 we are drilling it on the line because of short vowel a then we have the word shapes. Shapes. A stock of ish on the line and a stock of p. Shapes. Shapes. We are drilling it on the line because of long vowel hey, a second place vowel. Then we have the word bath. Pronounce it bath. Bath is a stroke of b on the line and a stock of V, bath, 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 bath. Uh, we are drilling it on the line because of long vowel A. A second place vowel, and the last one is a uh, the word fetch. Pronounce it fetch. Fetch is a stroke of F on the line and a stroke of J. Fetch, fetch. Fetch, fetch. We are drilling it on the line because of short vowel hair. Because of short vowel hair. And then we have other word like the word say, essay. And we also have the word his. These are other words that we, we drill using, using the, the curved strokes. The curvy stroke has, and this is how we drill the word say with a full stock of S on the line. Just a full stock of S on the line, and you indicate the long vowel A. Then we have the word has say, will be drilled the same on the line, but the difference is the vowel, just the indication of the vowel. We have a short air and a long hair. Short air and a long hay. Short air and a long hay. Then we have the word his. His. Uh, this is a full stock of S on the line. A full stock of S on the line. And then the long vowel he comes at the beginning. His. His. So that is how we read those words. And below there we have a reading and writing practice. You are going to drill uh, those uh, sentences. You transcribe them in long words, And you make sure you drill them neatly. And you write the, the sentence in long and. Then the next part we are going to look at the vowel. The next vowels that we have. We are still looking at the vowels.
So we have we have the the, the vowels here. We have vowel ho and who and short ha, not who. We have long ho and short ha. So these are still in second place vowel. These are second place vowel. They are hard. Two second place vowels. Second place. Second place vowels. And these are uh, dash vowels. These are the dash vowels. Remember we have looked at uh, dash vowels. We have looked at the dot vowel, we looked at a uh, uh, long hay and short hay. And now we are looking at long vowel ho, long ho, that is number one. We have long ho, which is represented, represented by a heavy, a heavy dash. It's represented by a heavy dash like this. And it is still a second place vowel. And we are going to look at uh, uh, words which are drained using such. We have the word bots. Bots. Photo. We have the word hoth. Bows. We have the word seal and so. So look at look up here. We have the word bots. This is drilled using a long hole, a stock of B on the line and a stock of T. Bots. 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 This is drilled with a long hole. A heavy dash. Long ho, a heavy dash, and it is a second place vowel. That's where we are drilling it on the line. Then we have the word vot. Vot. Pronounce it vot. Stock of V and a stock of T. Vot. A stock of V on the line and a stock of T. Vot. We are drilling it there because of long ho, a second place vowel. Then we have the word photo. A, low, a stock of half on the line and a stock of T. So we drill it with a with a stock of uh, a stock of half and a stock of T. Photo, photo, photo. A stock of half and a stock of T on the line. Photo with a long ho. A second place vowel. And we have the word hot. On is a stock of eve on the line, a stock of heat on the line, because of long ho, a second place vowel. We have the word boss, a stock of b on the line, and a circle boss, boss. And we indicate the long ho there, a second place vowel. We indicate the second place vowel there, and we have the word so or seal we indicate uh, we use a, a full stock of s and a long ho a second place vowel a second place vowel there so those are the words that we drill using a uh, long ho and we have other words where we have uh, we have another one a short ha. The next vowel, the next dash vowel is a short ha. We call it short ha. So you should avoid calling it a uh, vowel u. It is short ha. We pronounce it short a. Short a. So uh, make sure that your pronunciation is correct. Pronounce it in the correct manner. The phonetic sound is short a. We refer to it as short ha. So our second uh, dash vowel is short. Short a. And this one is represented, represented by 
a light a light dash is represented by a light dash and we have examples of words which are drilled using that light dash we have the word have has dash judge we have the word pub look up here uh, we have the word hub hub pronounce it hub has dutch judge pub so the word hub is drilled with a stock of p on the line a stock of p on the line up 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 and they should Short ha is indicated there in the second position, in the second position, and then we have the word has a full stock of has. We drill using a full stock of has, and here we indicate the short ha on that uh, has struck. Then we have the word Dutch. Dutch is a stock of D on the line. And a stock of Che, Dutch, 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 a stock of uh, a dash, a stock of a stock of D and a stock of Che. We indicate the short ha and we also indicate the, the these signs for capitalizing. You indicate those signs here below the stroke to show that that word begins with a capital letter. So make sure that you don't forget the, the indicating those signs first, the signs for, for capitalizing. Then we have the word judge. A stock of J and another J. Judge. 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 And here we indicate the short ha. Huh? In the first J. So judge is a stroke of J and another J. A stroke of J and another J. Judge. The D is silence here. So we hear the stroke of J and another J. And in that case we indicate the, the short ha in the second position of the first J. Then we have the word pop. 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 So here you indicate uh, it's a stroke of P and another P and you indicate the short ha in the second position. Short ha is indicated in the second position. And then below that we have reading and writing practice too where you are going to practice uh, doing that assignment. You read, you transcribe the words in long art and we also have Short forms and braces. We have short forms. Uh, here we have short forms. We have short form have, short form think, short form them, short form shall, was, usual, usually, and then we have February and the word fifth, the short form fifth. So these short forms, they are for you to practice them. You practice drilling them daily. You memorize them as much as you can. Drill as many times as you can in order to increase your speed. Make sure you practice drilling that. And we also have a more assignment for short forms and pressing practice. We have practical dictation. Uh, you are supposed to practice uh, drilling that and you also transcribe in long hand. And lastly, we have the theory check you read those words in shorthand outlines and that marks the end of our unit two and in the next lesson we are going to look at unit three thank you for listening welcome